Hello, welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics. If you've never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom, we're gonna make some cheese enchiladas. I'm feeling a little lazy today, and I know it doesn't look like it because I have homemade enchilada sauce that we're gonna use for this recipe, but I'm being lazy because I'm not gonna shred the cheese. <laughs> Even though I 10 out of 10 recommend shredding your own cheese, I'm just gonna use the Mexican blend cheese because I'm hungry and I wanna get to the eating of the enchiladas. Life's all about options. Sometimes I shred the cheese, sometimes I don't shred the cheese. Sometimes I use pre-made enchilada sauce and I particularly like this pre-made enchilada sauce, but today, homemade enchilada sauce. You guys are gonna get sick of me ranting and raving, but I am so freaking excited about these lids. You haven't been seeing my mason jars because I've been having such a time trying to find lids for my mason jars. I have like two plastic lids and like 800 mason jars. So we're gonna get started. Cheese enchiladas are so easy. Step one, get out all your ingredients. Got my sauce, got my cheese. Shred your cheese if you're gonna shred your cheese. Then I've got my tortillas. They should be corn, but if you like flour, do you, boo? I like white corn, you can use yellow corn. Use whatever you want. It's your kitchen, and that's the beauty of your own kitchen, okay? First thing we're gonna do, though, is we're gonna warm up the tortillas. You have two options here. You can throw them on to a dry pan and just toast them up, warm them up. Um, 30 seconds to a minute on each side and just get them warm, and that just makes them flexible so you can roll them up. Or you can put shallow oil in that pan and you can fry them a little on each side, a little bit less time if you use the frying oil, and that's gonna add oil to the party. Me personally, I think they taste fine, just toasted on a dry pan, so that's what I'm gonna do, okay? Now, I always do two at a time because I just feel like the heat penetrates, um, but you can do one at a time if you're not feeling confident. And then I flip over and then I'll flip this one over and definitely use tongs so you don't burn yourself. I'm a bad example using my hands. <laughs> but basically, there's no right or wrong here. You just wanna get them warm because if you try to roll them when they're cold, they'll break on you. So if you do it warm, then it really helps them be more pliable and easier to roll. Again, you can do this in some vegetable oil as well. Obviously, definitely use tongs. Um, you can fry them in some vegetable oil as well if, if, you, if that's your preference. I just find that I don't need the extra oil. I think they taste fine this way. So it's personal preference. Are you ready? It's so quick. I poured my cheese out into the bowl because it's quick, but it's a little bit messy, okay? So we're gonna put a little enchilada sauce in our dish. Beautiful, okay? We're gonna take our tortilla that's a little bit warm and pliable, and you're just gonna give it a little dip in the sauce, okay? Beautiful. Then you're gonna take some cheese. Boom, more cheese. More cheese is better. And then you're gonna roll it up and you're gonna tuck it over on the side here, okay? And then you're just gonna repeat, repeat, repeat. You're gonna dip your tortilla in a little bit of the red sauce. I'm gonna move it over to the side. Then I'm gonna put a nice pile of cheese inside and I'm going to roll it up. They're messy, you're gonna eat it with a fork. You're not gonna take these out and eat it like a burrito, so don't worry about it, okay? It's okay, it's okay for it to be a mess, for there to be cheese and sauce everywhere. It's the beauty of enchiladas, okay? I'm gonna put a nice pile of cheese. We're just gonna repeat this until we have used up our tortillas and our cheese. And we'll see how much this half quart of sauce is going to yield us. Usually I'll make like, I don't know, 10 or 12, like a dozen, but that doesn't tend to be enough because that gets eaten all in like one sitting. So maybe I'll make more, we'll see. All right, roll it up. Cheesy, saucy hands all over, tuck it. Okay, I topped it with the extra sauce after I rolled them all up. I ended up doing 14, I think, in here. And then I wish I had more cheese. I'm sprinkling the remainder of the cheese on top and I'm tempted to grate up some cheese. <laughs> That bag and a half cheese was not enough cheese because it's cheese enchiladas, right? Sprinkle cheese on top and then we're gonna bake these in the oven at 350 or 375 for like 15, 20 minutes, just until it's all bubbly. Everything here is cooked, so it's no food safety issue. You just want it to be bubbly and hot and gorgeous and heated through. The smell is unreal. Delicious. Burning hot, obviously. Wait a second to taste. I always tell you, do as I say, not as I do. Did I wait? No, it's burning hot. But we have to taste. 
Like, hello? <sighs> Here's my notes. Delicious. Spicy. A bit too spicy for me. I think I would leave out the, um, our bowl chilies if I were making again, but I've made it with this. Delicious, incredible. So I may prefer actually this over my own homemade sauce. Is that crazy talk? You know what I liked about this that is not in this that I think it needs? Lime. This has a little tomato and a little lime, and I feel like it's more like balanced than this, even though this is more traditional. I think I might like this better. And I've also seen the Tex-Mex style, so we're gonna make that style too and see if we like that. The te Tex-Mex style is very tomato heavy and like no chilies. You just use like chili powder, which is chilies, but it's not as chili forward. Let's taste another bite to be sure. It's really hot. I mean, it's delicious, but I think it's lacking that little punch that you get that acidity from the limes and or tomatoes so i would like lime juice and it's pretty spicy it's got a little fiery kick but i mean it's cheese and corn tortillas and spicy enchilada sauce so it's delicious i mean who am i kidding i'm gonna eat this whole tray <laughs> 